Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today let me show you five free third-party apps that are worth getting for your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 900 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign, join us, and get exclusive content and course discounts. So while your Mac comes with a lot of great apps and Apple provides even more apps for free, there are some third-party apps that you can get that do some great things. Let's start off with the app VLC. You can find it at Videoland.org. A VLC is basically a video player. If you drag and drop a video file into the initial VLC window it will play it. But you could also create a playlist of videos. But that's not why it's so cool. You can convert videos with it. So if you go to File you can do Convert Stream and then you get this window here and you could drag and drop a video file into it. Now VLC will actually read more file types than QuickTime Player does. So occasionally if you run into a file say from an older camera or something you download online and QuickTime Player won't play it and iMovie won't import it you could still play it in VLC. And that means you can use this conversion process to take that file and then convert it to a more standard format like Basic H.264. Then you could even customize beyond that. So you have a lot of options here. Typically you need to pay for an app like Apple's Compressor in order to convert videos. But with VLC you can do most of those things for free. Next we've got Audacity. You can find it at audacityteam.org. This app has been around for a long time just like VLC and it's an audio file editor. So with Audacity you can record audio and in fact it starts you off right here with a window and you can record right from your microphone. But you could also open an audio file. So for instance I'll open up this MP3 file with Audacity and it will open it up and you can see how I can see both stereo tracks. I can select, edit, trim. There's even a whole ton of different effects. It's pretty pro level when it comes to audio editing. While GarageBand will do a lot of this too, Audacity is a little easier to deal with. If you just want to take a piece of an audio track and save it out as a new file or some quick editing or applying an effect. And you can also export out as a variety of different formats so it makes it a good converter as well. And now here's a graphics app. Seashore is a completely free image editor and you can get it in the Mac App Store. With Seashore you can do a lot more than you could do just in Photos or in Preview because you could actually start off by creating a completely new image and then draw in it just like you would expect in a Paint app. But you could also edit photos with it. As a matter of fact you can use it directly from the Photos app. If you go to Image and then Edit With Seashore is one of the options that you'll get. And it will open up the image inside of Seashore. And of course you can use all of these drawing tools on it. But also some of the basic stuff that you may find in Photoshop and other apps. For instance I can go in here and do Color Adjustments, Color Effects, Enhancements, Stylize things, you know, Apply Cool Effects like this. So while it is pretty basic it will probably cover like 95% of most people's needs as far as editing images and photos. Here's another app in the Mac App Store and it's COT or Cot Editor. This is a text editing tool and it's quite a bit more advanced than just using text edit. It's super fast and super easy to edit even large text files. And if you're a coder it has all of these different programming language modes and just contains a lot of advanced text functions that you can see here in the menu and in Preferences. So it's kind of similar in a lot of ways to what you'll find in expensive text editors like BBEdit. But being totally free it's a no brainer to just get it and use it. I started using it a few years ago and I pretty much use it as my main text editor now. And next we have LibreOffice which is a whole suite of apps in one that basically is similar to Microsoft Office. You can get it at LibreOffice.org. So unlike Microsoft Office everything is bundled into one app. So you can start a word processing document or a spreadsheet or a presentation all from inside the same app. Now it looks different than Word but it's very similar in what it offers. When you go to Save a File it will go to use the ODF text document format but you can specify that you want to use the Microsoft Word format. And when you do that you'll get a Word format file. But the best thing is you can continue to work on this document in LibreOffice while it's in Word format. And in fact you can do the same with any Word document somebody gives you. So I could go to Open With here, choose LibreOffice and edit 
this Word document while keeping it in Word format. Pages will only let you import in Word and then export out as Word again. So this is a much easier way of working. And it's the same thing if you use Excel. You can create a spreadsheet in here and you could save it but as Excel format and then edit this file as well as any other Excel file directly in LibreOffice without having to convert it back and forth. So it's really worth having on your Mac just for that alone. But it's also useful for people that really like how Microsoft Office works as opposed to Pages, Numbers, and Keynote but you don't want to pay for Microsoft Office. So instead you can use LibreOffice for free and the apps kind of work in a way you're familiar with. So those are five free apps you should consider getting for your Mac. One bonus thing here though is you should also consider getting a clipboard manager. There are a variety of different ones to choose from. Many of them free. So just go to the Mac App Store and search for Clipboard Manager and look for one of the ones that's free and doesn't have any in-app purchases. I use this one here, Cloud Clip Manager, and you can see it up here and it has all my recent clipboard items so I can easily recall the last few things that I copied. But there are a lot of other great ones too. I pretty much love them all. Flycut is one that I use for years and still love. And there are plenty more. My main recommendation is not for a specific clipboard manager but to just get one. They're so useful. It's so much better when your Mac remembers the last 10 or 100 things that you copied instead of just the very last copy that you did. So those are some of my favorite free third party Mac apps. I'm sure you've got some as well. Share them in the comments below. If you like this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.